I really love to initiate using the slack board with the double line first. So when we land in any step, we land on the outside of our foot and our heel drops down and in. So I'm creating ground reaction force with this first line. But what allows me to do is as I evert and load this heel, the second line is holding my forefoot. So I'm getting true relative rotation, which is what happens in the actual step. So what I can, I'll come in here and I'll just have them do a static lunge, creating that load. And I can change the reaches to create what I want at the foot. And so now I'm already challenging the foot super early. And look at how little motion is happening at the ankle relative to what an ankle sprain could tolerate. So I can take someone two, one, two days after an ankle sprain and I'm already in this position. And because I'm on the double, I'm less inclined to get that load. Once I feel like they've mastered this, I immediately move to the single line and now I can challenge them. But what I love in, initially is I can get the forefoot, which is here, and the first ray to get you know, stimulation, which is so great. So I love that. And then to make it more dynamic, I'm now able to step into it and create that load. So now I'm actually getting more eccentric load than if I just went and did it on the ground. So I love that. The other great thing is it's elevated. So think about ground reaction and gravity. We're actually making it easier at first because when we are higher, I get more muscular engagement. So more hip flexion means more glute. More knee flexion means more quad, more hamstring, more calf. Versus here, I don't get as much, so now become more joint oriented. So I love that aspect of it. So then I can become dynamic laterally, right? And I would do this on the single board, but now I am teaching placement. I'm actually allowing someone to go through that motion. And then I become more dynamic and I can go try, try planar, and now I'm adding rotation. So things like that make it so much more functional and dynamic to use with the patients. And then of course, I can now move into balance, right? And now I can start doing things that look a lot harder and feel a lot harder, but are really challenging, much harder than if I was just doing this on a box. So this is my single leg balance. And I can go all the way around the board, clock it, love that. So we do speed forward and back. Then we go side to side, up and down. And then we go back diagonal, front diagonal. And right now I just did four reps and my quads are just on fire. So if I did that same thing here, it's not anywhere close. <laughs> 